Iran has supplied Russia with several hundred short-range ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal reported citing senior American and European officials. One of the sources specified that the weapons had already arrived in Russia. Also, according to him, Tehran intends to continue supplying shells to Moscow. Iran has sent short-range ballistic missiles to Russia, giving Moscow another powerful military tool to use in its war against Ukraine. The move follows stern warnings from the West not to supply the weapons to Moscow, the article says. The transfer of Iranian missiles coincided with an intensification of shelling of civilian infrastructure in Ukraine by the Russian army. The attacks have killed dozens of civilians since late August. The West has previously warned Iran that additional sanctions would be imposed if it supplied missiles to Russia. European officials told the publication that they are currently working on a sanctions response with their American colleagues. Since the West knew that Iran was going to supply Russia with ballistic missiles, preparatory work on restrictive measures began in the summer. The sanctions are expected to affect a number of Iranian companies and individuals involved in arms transfers to Moscow, including transport companies. The new restrictions will also ban Iran Air, the Iranian national carrier, from flying to European airports. A White House spokesman commented on reports of Iran preparing or already begun deliveries of short-range ballistic FAF-360 to Russia. National Security Council spokesman Sean Savet did not directly confirm that the delivery had already taken place. Any transfer of Iranian ballistic missiles to Russia would represent a dramatic escalation of Iran's support for Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Reuters quotes Savet as saying, Another agency source, this time anonymously said, Washington was keeping a close eye on potential shipments. Iran has transferred hundreds of drones to Russia during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to people speaking on condition of anonymity, but the potential transfer of ballistic missiles would be a worrying development in the war. Iran is one of Russia's closest allies. Tehran has provided Moscow with thousands of Shahed kamikaze drones since the start of the full-scale war, and the two nations continue to deepen their military and political cooperation. Recently, social networks were flooded with photos of a downed Russian Mi-8 helicopter. The biggest surprise was that it was destroyed by a cheap, small drone of the Ukrainian armed forces. As The Economist writes, at first it was unclear whether this was a lucky hit or a sign of a breakthrough in the air war. The Russian attack helicopters themselves played a relatively minor role. They were quickly driven away from the front line and began firing guided and unguided missiles from a long distance. There have been previous cases of helicopters being destroyed by drones. In May 2022, a Bay Raktar TB2 fired a missile to destroy a Russian transport helicopter on Zmyny Island. However, back then, it was a machine that looked like a small plane, while now the Ukrainian armed forces are destroying targets with a small FPV drone, most of which weigh less than one kilogram. They are used as kamikaze drones and have already proven themselves to be extremely effective against ground vehicles and infantry, but until July, they had never hit a helicopter. Of course, there have been close encounters before, during which Ukrainian FPVs have chased Russian helicopters but failed to catch them. This UAV, loaded with explosives, can reach a maximum speed of about 150 km an hour, while the Mi-8 can exceed 240 km an hour. Drones have only one chance to hit them if they are flying towards each other or at the moment when the helicopter is circling or hovering. In this regard, data on the movement of Russian helicopters is vital when attacking drones. Since July, Ukraine has been using drones with software that can receive data from air defense radars and other sensors and calculate a target interception course. The operator maintains this course until the drone enters the visibility zone. There have even been videos on social media of Ukrainian drones intercepting Russian reconnaissance UAVs. It turns out that this method also works for helicopters. Of course, helicopter pilots have ways to protect themselves. While heat-seeking missiles are useless against drones, attack helicopters can use their automatic cannon against them. If that fails, the pilot can maneuver or increase speed to escape, abandoning his mission. Drones have one big advantage, they are incredibly cheap to make. FPVs cost about $500 to produce and volunteers make them on their kitchen tables with soldering irons. So sending dozens of drones at a single target is much cheaper than launching a heat-seeking missile.
The Stinger, for example, costs $500,000 per use. It has a maximum range of about 8 kilometers and must be used within sight of the target. However, FPVs have a range of 20 kilometers and can be launched well out of sight. If FPV can be successfully used in combination with these missiles, helicopters will have nowhere to hide, which will further limit their use. Ukrainians watched with pleasure the burning wreckage of the Russian copter worth $18 million. They hope for more. The publication concludes.